Hey everybody, it's Annalise and Neil, and we're here with our Couple Sans Susi September 2021 walkthrough video. We are not paid for or sponsored by couples. We just like to do this because we like couples and Jamaica. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get into it? Hi, Annalise. Hi. <laughs> so this is the road you drive into when you're coming into Sans Susi, that building that was on our left was the Jewel Box, which is actually a jewelry shop. This is the Walk This Way. Um, what do you call it? Gift shop. Gift shop. Two stories. Got a lot of stuff. Obviously, it has uh, what do you sunscreen, so flip flops, yeah. sunscreen, flip flops, all, and everything dresses. you could imagine. Yeah. Food. So you drive up here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, this. We're, some of it's gonna be sped up. It's still a very long video, and we are gonna yak throughout the whole thing. And if that gets annoying, by all means, shut us off and play some. Hi, Annalise. There you are. Hi. <laughs> and play some uh, reggae, some Bob Marley. So, here you come. Uh, you get out of the nice little van, and they take your bags, and you go to check in. Some of the cutaway videos like you just saw, or cutaway shots like you just saw, are because we try not to have people in the shot. So, if there's somebody who might have been in the lobby, we cut away. Okay. The desks we just went by are the customer service and the book your adventure desk. <laughs> right. Uh, this is Casanova, this <clears throat> amazing restaurant, and this one you do need reservations for, and this one the men do need to wear long pants. Right. We dress up for it. Mm -hmm. um, we did not see the actual welcome front desk because people were sitting at it when we came in, but is it is to the right of us at this point right now inside where we just came out of. This is the Photoshop and games room and computer room. Yes, and they usually um, have water and coffee in there as well. Which we're actually going to go in and check out. Apparently, I had a little hiccup there, and I just <laughs> wanted to stay here for a second. And again, this video is very, very long, and it is to give people an idea of exactly how the resort layout is. Right. I keep looking at you like we're doing an interview. I know. <laughs> I appreciate it. So they have computers, printers, monitors, obviously, that you can use for just checking stuff out, but also when you need to get your... Uh, tickets to go home and all of that fun stuff. There is an ATM that was the photo booth uh, that's as they take pictures of you throughout the resort. This is where you come to look at those pictures. There is no uh, obligation. So by all means, if the photographer comes around, freaking take a picture. You don't have to buy it. It's also air conditioned. So it's a nice <laughs> place to uh, take a sit and get some water and, you know, Good call. Good call. Good <laughs> call. So this outdoor seating, you can just go chill out. And at night, this becomes the outdoor seating for the Casanova restaurant. Mm -hmm. So if you do, uh, when you do book your reservation. Um, Say if you want to sit inside or inside outside. Inside or outside. We like sitting inside. Right. Air conditioned. It's nice to get a break <laughs> from the humidity and the heat. Yeah. So a lot of stairs at this resort and a lot of places to go and hide out. Um, we're going to come back around. So when I say these are the stairs up by the lobby in Photoshop, it'll it's make sense. Yeah. Um, so again, uh, we're going to peek over the edge here, and that is the... Uh, the. It's the smaller pool, and they used to use it to train for um, scuba diving. I'm not sure if they still do that. I'm not positive. And uh, But it's beautiful, and it's really private. So if you, again, want to spend some private time alone or, you know, it's usually not too busy. No. And we under our our understanding is in 2022, uh, this is uh, a lot of this resort will be remodeled, uh, a fairly major remodel, including some of the rooms. And we do have room walkthrough videos too that I will um, link to either in the description or in the video itself. Down here on this uh, patio, they also have nighttime in nighttime entertainment. Uh, usually, uh, you know. Uh, guitar player or a band, things like that. It's uh, really nice to sit there and, you know, enjoy that right next to the bar, which is behind us, the balloon bar. So, and there's uh, amazing views, uh, you know, for a sunrise and sunset as well. So. And we shot this video very early in the morning. That's why most things are closed and there's nobody around. Those are the doors to the balloon bar. They open up. Um, Hi. Well, I, for <laughs> I forgot I wiped off the lens there. <laughs> uh, so we go ahead and we go <laughs> totally threw me off. <laughs> That's funny. So we're going to go down now. We're going to go towards the martini bar and also some of the other uh, back Stairway, walkway yeah. areas. There's a lot of walkways. There's, uh, you know, like little side 
cut-throughs and things like that. So there's many ways to get different places. Everywhere. So, yeah. Tons of stairs. Right. So that is the martini bar, but we're going to go around the backside here. So um, up to our right is the pool that we were just at and the balloon bar. Um, I decided to turn around at this point. I think It'll you make wanna, sense. I think you just wanted to show. It'll make sense when there's we come around. Path there. So this is the martini bar, uh, which is a lot of fun and... It's usually open, I think, at 5 o'clock at night, but obviously check with the Renton desk for hours of operation and cl usually close one day a week. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, and, again, this is all subject to change. This is when, when we were there. But it's a nice little place to hang out. They sometimes have uh, a musician come and uh, mm -hmm. normally would give the name, but because they are switching musicians sometimes, they right. don't want to throw uh, leave anybody out. Don't want to get your hopes up. Don't want to get your hopes up. <laughs> But again, it's a great place to watch the sunset and have a martini. So. Mm -hmm. Or a few martinis. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and speed up. And as you can see, I, the grounds are meticulously maintained. And there is a lot of walking, but it's also, we really like it. Right. This is this It's is, very tropical. It's very beautiful. It's one of our favorite resorts because it's very romantic and tropical. So, A lot of people ask us, because we've been to couples a few times, which is our favorite resort? And it's one of those things, like, they're all amazing. So it's almost like if you had to say, like, 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D, this would be our 1B. And, again, if you have any questions, uh, by all means, email us. We'll have a link below. To the left is the gym. Uh, we have a separate gym walkthrough video, of which we will uh, link also. And that, uh, to the right, is the mineral pool. So there's the gym. Up above it is the yoga studio and boxing studio. I'm sorry, you were going to say. I was going to say, there's a lovely beach right there in front of the gym. And it's usually empty or very private or hardly anybody there. But keep in mind that people from the gym or the yoga studio can, you know, stare at you while you're out there. So, But, um, again, the mineral pool is beautiful and overlooks this uh, bay right here. And, again, is not usually very busy. So it's good. It's lovely. And again. And again. <laughs> Just feel like I'm... And that... There's a cool little uh, massage room down there as well that you can book. And you can get to that little beach. And then you can also swim and snorkel on your own. Yeah. But this is the mineral pool and the little mineral hot tub. Uh, and that little building in front of us is actually Charlie's Veggie Bar. Yeah. Uh, where you can get a lot of vegetarian and vegan snacks and food. Uh, we will go up, to, if you're looking uh, straight ahead, that is a newly remodeled um, hot tub. Oh, let's go up there now. Why not? <laughs> I was going to say, I believe we go up there and take a look. Yeah, and that was just recently remodeled in the past year from making this video. So From 2021. Now, we also, during 2021, there were a lot of COVID protocols, so you'll see a lot of COVID signs and things that are a little bit different. No true buffet. Um, you know, they people were serving more so than just regular buffet, so... Uh, but still, they did a great job. If you if if COVID is still going on and you're going, they did a great job. It felt very safe and very comfortable, and we had an absolutely great time. Right. right, and I think we said, but we did take this video super early in the morning, probably like 7 a.m. So there's almost no one around, and everything is closed. But again, with the separate room walkthrough and gym video, you can catch glimpses of that. So, and down here is where. Uh, well, there's a little walkway, but that little area, I believe, is where Charlie the Turtle used, used, to, used, to, used to hang out, right. yeah. and he was there for a very long time. There's a little plaque commemorati commemorating <laughs> him. The memorial. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And it tells his little story, and you can always freeze frame that and check it out. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a little wood car carving of Charlie, so I'm um, going to go ahead and speed this up, and I think we're going to go... Uh, mm -hmm. to... I think we're going to walk on farther and walk down the, the walkway there gonna, to... Um, oh, no, we're actually going to go to, oh, in the gym. Go, oh, do yes. we go to the gym? This, I forgot. This we did. I don't know. And again, I'm not exactly sure why we decided to since we have a separate gym video, but we did. So uh, the gym is not very crowded ever, um, at least when we go. I guess, I guess I can't say ever because I'm not there at All 2 the in the afternoon. Right? Um, but it does have... You know, treadmills, uh, stationary bikes, free weights. They do have the TVs. It is air conditioned. It is indoors. They do have towels, work actual workout towels, all this stuff to clean the equipment. And water. And water. Yep. They do have water. And there's usually a gym attendant who is a trainer who is there to assist you and 
answer questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also open to um, the staff at a couple of the resorts. So uh, you will see staff in there uh, working out and working with the trainer, which is actually pretty cool. Right. I also believe, and I'm not positive, so please um, look into it if it's something that interests you, but I think you can uh, make an appointment with the trainer. So... Which is also really cool, I think. I think uh, by the clock in the gym, I think this was 7.05. Seven, oh, see, I was right. 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> and again, we I think we walked through because it was empty. We're like, oh, it's empty. Let's go ahead and walk through. But there is a that separate... Been, that might have been it. There is a separate gym video if you want a closer look at things. I think we get a little more... In depth. Detailed. Not that there's much to get detailed about, but we'll link to it. <laughs> Uh, so we're, I think now we're going to go ahead and walk to near where the wedding gazebo is. Um, I One of the last videos we did, we didn't take a bunch of shots of the bay or the right. beach. So there's going to probably be a bit more in this. <laughs> um, and I totally lied. We're not going to go to the wedding gazebo. We're going to go to the spa. Yeah. The spa is uh, really, really cool, and they have really, um, they spread it out for privacy as well as, because uh, it's beautiful, and they have little huts on the outcroppings, and they, as I the outcroppings. mentioned, outcroppings, <laughs> um, and as I mentioned before, there is another massage room underneath everything that kind of is more on the beach, but I think that's also subject to tide, uh, you know, in the waters, <laughs> out or whatever, I'm not sure. Um, so this little area usually has seating in it. This is considered a quiet area, obviously, because they do have the massages going on. But if you want to come and hang out under here, they've got the little fan to like read a book or just kind of mm -hmm. do a little meditation or something. It's really peaceful. And Beautiful. the view is obviously <laughs> freaking amazing. <laughs> We have sat there many times, just kind of had some quiet moments. We are recording this uh, at the end of January. We're a little late getting it up, and it's it's always difficult to record because we totally miss it, and we want to go immediately, and we're not right. going back now until October. But it's also a nice reminder of like, oh, we were just there. So here are the little huts that Annalise was talking about where you have your massages. Uh, over to the right are the bathrooms, men and women's, and they have showers and towels and everything. So after your massage, if you'd rather shower there, you can. Now, I say that, I don't remember if they had that available to us during I COVID. believe they I, did. I believe so. I want to say they... I don't remember. Yeah. I want to say they didn't because we kept showering up in the room after Right. That's true. So that's true. I'm not sure there was a lot of rum punch involved, so who the heck knows? <laughs> I would go with Annalise. If she right. says that they, it was available, it probably was. Um, also, you can request um, certain huts. Um, so if there's one that's your favorite, uh, you can actually request it. More stairs to go up. And we do try to cover all the stairs in this video. Um, again, the tuck away hut. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to walk by it and we'll point it out, but there is a uh, hair and nail salon up here, and uh, I have been there, and it is lovely, and so you can make arrangements to get your hair and nails done. We absolutely <laughs> I recommend it. Take a I... quick break and check out the <laughs> salon. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> uh, some of the quick spin around, sorry if I'm making you nauseous, is may sometimes if there's a a maintenance worker or somebody walking a by guest. we just kind of yeah, spin to. around. Yeah. So and there's, there's Raleigh Salon. Yeah. Is it Raleigh or Polly? I think it's Raleigh. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember. So now we're up that building right in front of us. That little gazebo is actually where you check in. That's where we started the video. So now we're going back down. The little salon is to our right. And this little tower in front of us, well, here's the bay shot again, but the little tower to our left is an uh, elevator, yeah. of which we'll actually go check out. <laughs> and so this is in front of G Block, I, I believe. I believe it's G Block. Yeah. Yeah, and if you um, don't want to deal with the stairs, there's a couple ways around all of the stairs, and the elevator is one, and there's also, um, I believe they'll offer you they'll a shuttle. They'll drive you down yeah, to the beach and down, down to the, the beach, so. natural beach. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the highest point of the resort, This, and we're still walking towards the lobby. Right. Over here to the left is actually the wedding office, of which, oh, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> There's the wedding office. There you go. And the sound you're going to hear now is me pouring more wine. <laughs> 
And again, that's we show you the, the back way to uh, the pool and the deck. So this the was tub. this was those stairs that I said uh, would make sense. We're coming back around the back end here to the martini bar. And we're just flying through this. And, and the reason we keep this in is really so people kind of that have never been get an, uh, an idea of the true layout and how much walking uh, and stairs there are. And again, we don't think that's bad at all. We really, really like it. Um, but we also like to make the video realistic of how how many feet we had a freaking or miles we had to walk <laughs> right and I, I think it gets confusing with the layout and how big it spread out that if we keep cutting back and forth and you know, it's a little confusing so. so up there is a yoga studio and they have punching bags we didn't go up there because they actually had a yoga class going on at the time um but it's it's open air and obviously you a lot of people will go up there with uh their ipads or their computers with a workout and they'll mm -hmm. do the workout up there and they do have guest instructors which is really cool so here is the wedding gazebo. I apologize for the sun in your eyes as well as for the hazy camera lens. We forgot to shoot this the first time through, so we shot this uh, one, I want to say on. afternoon, yeah. walking back to the room, mm -hmm. and I think I got sunscreen on the camera <laughs> lens. But you can you get a good look at it. You get a good look at the bay. And not only can you book that for weddings, you can book it for uh, private dinners. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that it's very lovely. So we have yet to do that, but um, it's on the list, you know. It's, but again, I mean, look at that view. I love how you're saying, but again. <laughs> and again. And again. To I be just, fair. I just keep thinking that I'm repeating myself. Beautiful and private. So we're going to go down to the little, like, mineral grotto? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? The grotto, right. The grotto. <laughs> There's a little mineral pool down there and uh, a little, as we just showed, a walkway uh, down into there. So you can actually, like, you know, go swimming from that point, which is, again, the beach in front of the gym and, you know, snorkel, swim, whatever. Some of the pauses where it doesn't seem like it makes any sense what we're filming is that sometimes... Uh, some of the, the some of the staff that's working there will stop and we'll talk and we just hold the camera and I don't edit that out one because I'm lazy and two because I think it kind of makes the video fun. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the gym uh, and the mineral pool beyond that. Obviously, they had a little work going on, but that was the little beach Annalise was talking about yeah. where you could kind of just chill out there. They usually have beach chairs out right. there. Right, but they were uh, doing some work to I think they were adding sand and things like that to it, which they do periodically. They clean up and add sand to make everything nice and pretty for you. And now we're going to book it back up the stairs. More up stairs? Towards uh, <laughs> D Block, which is where our room was. Uh, and we have a couple of walkthrough videos of uh, room D7, and I, I don't remember the other one. But we have a few walkthrough videos of the actual rooms if you want to see right. what a, a, a couple of the rooms look like. A couple different styles of rooms, yeah. So this is a kind of a fun little... There are a few people that like to congregate out here and hang out, and, I mean, it's such a beautiful view. Uh, there's a spot for a hammock right there, and there's some hammocks. tables and chairs, and it's also one of the designated smoking areas on the property. Oh, it is? Yeah, there's a um, oh. little thing to the uh, left there. I, I don't think we showed it, but... Um, yeah, so sometimes people, you know, kind of bring their lunch out there or their morning coffee and sit out there. And then, you know, again, it's also a smoking area, so you can kind of be out there and smoke and be away from other people, things like that. So, so that is the whole beach for right. the resort, not including the all our <laughs> natural beach. Right. The, um, and that beach is, is not huge. It's fairly big, and they did uh, truck in a bunch more sand. It used to be a little more rocky than it is now. Right. It is a very nice beach. If you uh, are comfortable going over there, it's a great area. Also, um, this private beach means there's no um, vendors that walk through and things like that, so it uh, really is owned by couples and private. Yeah, there's you're not going to have any jet skis or boat rentals or right. musicians up and down the beach. Uh, so coming up to our, so the, obviously the beach and the ocean, the sea is on the right to the left here is Palazina. Oh, Palazina. And so normally it would be, um, buffet breakfast, buffet lunch. However, they were doing it somewhat a la carte because of everything going on, uh, with the pandemic. Um, and they did, and again, it was great, uh, Food was served quickly. It was easy to get food. It wasn't when we went. There was no issue whatsoever. Uh, when you come out of the beach, obviously they have showers and foot washes. So when, before you go into the restaurants, you can clean yourself off. In this lawn area here is where they do the theme nights. So that's where they'll have the 
uh, like barbecue buffets. Mm -hmm. Dinners and entertainment. Um, we, we showed it briefly, but on the right there, we showed the gazebo, and there's also weddings there. And you're welcome to sit by it and sit under it uh, during the day when it's sunny. But uh, fair warning, they will ask you to move if a wedding is booked for the gazebo. Understandable. Right. So this is Bella Vista uh, and also the beach bar. Uh, this is open for lunch, and then it closes for a little bit, and then opens for a sit-down dinner, and then closes for a little bit, and then becomes the midnight... Or I think 11 p.m. Yeah, to like nights. 5 in the morning, yeah. late night snacks where you can get. You, you got to get those midnight fries, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> fries, burgers, jerk chicken, things yeah. like that. This area is, is new and they expanded that Bella Vista, I think, in 2019. But that little stage that you just saw there, well, that you see here, <laughs> is where they have the nighttime entertainment. Um, and so if you have a room down on the beach, uh, you have. Uh, it's kind of cool. You can sit on your balcony and yeah, check that out. Front row. <laughs> but also, if you're somebody who uh, wants to go to bed a little early, you are also dealing with the crowd crowds. Right. Not the crowds. <laughs> you're dealing with a little bit of the. the I don't want to say noise, well, but the sounds yeah. of the entertainment. Right. It's not as quiet as some of the other rooms because it's right there in front of the entertainment. Just. And they do have beach service, so they do have the flags where you can plant your flag at the beach and. Someone will come over and take your order for beverages. They did expand not only the um, that patio there, but I believe they also expanded the one, the patio that's on the beach as well. And so there's the the lovely, <laughs> lovely beach. It's a smaller cove, but for the size of the resort and the fact that there's the all-natural area, it's, it's never, well... I shouldn't say that. When we busy. go there, it yeah. never feels busy. Right. However, we've never been during like Christmas and New Year's and things like right. that, which might, uh, I know that's one of their busiest times. So, And also, um, since the um, All Natural Beach is also, uh, it's, I think it's a similar size and a lot of people come there for that section of the property. So the uh, it's really split. So that's why I think one day it feels not so busy because half the people at the other beach. Right. O over at the Natural Beach, there is its, it's got its own bar, its own pool, its own grill, showers, obviously bathrooms, its own beach, its own palapa. So it is very, I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very nice over there. Right. And both beaches are very private. It's not an afterthought. This is, they, yeah, this is one of the reasons why people come to San Susi. Right. Or as I like to say, San Sushi. <laughs> This little area to the right is where they will have vendors come in. Actually, you can see a little bit that blue tarp in that chair. Uh, they'll have local vendors come in to sell uh, artists, carvings, paintings, yeah. uh, bracelets, necklaces, things like that. Very low pressure. Right. By all means, if they're there and you want to go look, go look. They don't make you feel obligated to buy. It's nothing like that at all. Um, this is the water sports area to right there is where you would exchange your, uh, one of the places you can exchange your beach towels mm -hmm. as well as sign up for water sports and the water sports activities. Those double doors in front of us is also a small little gift shop that sells pretty much like hats. Sunscreen. And sunscreen. <laughs> and then we Magazine just blew, blew past the bathroom. Then right. to our left is the pool mm -hmm. and the pool bar. We don't get a good shot of it on, in this video because there were people in it this early in the morning. And again, we didn't want to... Right make anyone feel uncomfortable or have anybody's heads in the video we didn't know. And again, we do have other videos that show other, you know, years past walkthroughs that show the pool a little bit better. So if that's something that interests you, please, you know, feel free to uh, venture back. To yeah, <laughs> I think this is our fourth or fifth San Susi walkthrough. Yeah. We do one every year just for fun because some things are suddenly changed. Change and they remodel. And, al so. and also when people look online and they're like, oh, this video is shot way back when, maybe it's not up to date. Yeah. So... Um, and any excuse to just sit around and talk about Jamaica for half an hour, we'll do. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> so this is the walk to the on natural beach. Um, but this it's is also going past all these gardens and landscaping, and they have that um, pond, and there's a lot of uh, which will birds go by and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. And so this lawn area here is where they have a lot of their the concerts, and San Susi does a lot of the events for their um, charity. Charity. Thank you. And that is where they set up the stage and do that. Also, they play a lot of uh, football yeah. or soccer. Uh, 
they European do. football, American soccer. Daily activity schedule. This is the, the gate and the door to get to the unnatural beach. We did not take any video or photos in there. They are available, however. Um, and we, we have been told that if we want to go before hours, we can shoot a video, which we will do. At some point, We yeah. just haven't done it yet. So uh, this is just to walk down the road to show you again the whole resort. Right, and how big that lawn is and things like that. And, and also the basketball court, yeah. which <laughs> kind of feels like an afterthought, but it's not. But it's there, and if you want to play, they're, you know, that's yeah. awesome. You and can, they do have, they do have uh, activities, to, like they do pick up games and things mm-hmm. like that, so. The sound you're going to hear now is me pouring more wine. <laughs> Um, they also, you have the uh, ability to uh, do things like golf and tennis at other locations. You wanted so. to mention something about the in-room dining at this lovely resort? Oh, yes. This is uh, one oh. of the couple's resorts that actually has uh, room service, and it is great. And we have partaken of the room service many times, and it's really lovely on rainy days because the resort is so spread out that you can order some room service if you want to hang out in your room on a rainy day. And the embarrassing thing is we've done it many times, not because we skipped any meals, but like as an in between, like oh we're oh, we're going to dinner in like an hour. We better get something to eat before Why we go. Why wouldn't you have an in between lovely in you know, sure. room meal? I don't know. Everybody needs some snacks. Am I right? It's vacation. <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> there's this little area to the right here, this little screened area, which is actually a greenhouse. And a lot of the, obviously, almost all the flowers and everything that you'll see in the rooms and on the tables are grown on property, as is some of the food also. Um, they also, um, I know that on Tower Isle, they uh, breed and cross-pollinate their orchids. And mm-hmm. I'm not sure if they do that here, but they're, you can definitely see them growing the orchids and things like that there. And this is the big pond. This is the area where people... Uh, you can buy one of these rocks and have it painted and have your names or the dates that you came to couples or whatever. And this is one of the areas where a lot of people put them. You'll find them throughout the resort. Yeah, people will hide them over. in the yeah. trees and stuff yeah. like that. It's pretty cool. The love rocks. yeah. The love rocks. <laughs> um, and again, to the right is the pond and they have, uh, what the heck are the name of those pelicans that dive into the mm-hmm. water to eat the fish? Yeah. There's a lot of birds and geese just wandering. Yeah. Just yeah. chilling. Um, in years past, not this year because of COVID times, but in years past, right up here in front of us is the bike racks where they have bikes you can bike around the property. And again, they didn't have them right then, but they normally do. And I'm sure they'll be back. Yeah. And it's it, the property is big enough that you could ride around and yeah. have fun. Not only for fun, but for exercise, if that's your jam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's a bunch of wood carvings and, and art throughout yeah. the just, resort. Just wandering around this property. Is and lights. Amazing. <laughs> So beautiful. When are we going again? <laughs> October. <laughs> so there's there's one of the pelicans falling, flying yeah. around. I think that's one of the things where you know, I think we're walking slow because we we're watching the pelican die for fish. <laughs> oh, also, <laughs> half of it is I sped some of this up mm-hmm. for us to go. Right. Uh, it's a long walk, so. <laughs> yeah. And, and there's the tennis courts, right? Yep, exactly. And they do have a tennis pro come in. I'm not sure how often, uh, but they will help you out if you want to play. They will also help sign up if uh, if you're looking for someone to play with, and you know maybe your the partner your partner that you came with isn't a tennis fan, but you are and want to find somebody else. They'll set all that up with you, or the pro. Will. Right? Yeah, they'll help you out. They'll try to play. Yeah. Try to find someone to play with you, or they'll play with you themselves. Yeah. We've um, we've threatened that we would try tennis. <laughs> Annalise and I both like tennis, but we don't play often enough to actually make it fun. Right. <laughs> so We're not good enough at yeah. to uh, play a real game. Right. But we'll get out there and, you know, hit some balls around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> again, this is the backside. Uh, and it's, again, it's, it's fun to ride bikes. Again. Just kind of wander around and... Oh, the place is so freaking yeah, and beautiful. This, and this is a, their famous tree, right? Everybody, yes. It's a famous tree. It's been a lot of movies. The tree movie, <laughs> tree movie two. Uh, it's, it's in everybody's vacation pictures. I know that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. I mean, we, we've we been going to Jamaica for a long time. We're fortunate to have friends that live on the island and, and get to hang out. But couples, you know, they're, they, 
it's a very comfortable, very inviting place to go. There are places that are more expensive. There are places that might feel a bit more uh, luxurious, but this really feels like Jamaica to yeah. us as far as a tropical. resort, yeah. not uh, not what, you know, I mean, Jamaica is Jamaica, but this, as far as a vacation resort, this has a really nice feel to it. So I think uh, the alarm on my phone is going off, <laughs> which is great for a video. So this is uh, walking through some of the um, the rooms down, the, the beachfront rooms. And we decided that we wanted to go back up the backside since we already saw the front. And we're going to come back. And I believe we're going to come around where um, Palazina is. But I might be wrong. We'll see. We'll see. But again, it, it just kind of shows how you can just wander around and... Um, there's also a, a cat feeding stage. A lot of people ask us about. They yes, are, there are a uh, lot of resort cats. Resort cats, and there's a cat feeding station. So, because they are hoping that you won't feed them at the restaurant, but there is a place that if you want to feed them or check in with the cats, there's a little spot off to the side. It's actually right behind here. Right. That's it, right there. Right. Um, and there's Palazina. it's kind of tough. There's Palazina. It's tough because some people ha have allergies to cats and and. Some people are like, oh, let's feed the cats at the restaurant. And again, some people are allergic or just don't like cats. So it's right. It can it's, be it can be a bummer for people who freaking are allergic to cats. Meaning if somebody's feeding a cat at the restaurant, the cats will not bother you if you don't want them to bother you. Right. So this road w is one of the roads that they'll bring you down in uh, a little uh, car to get to the beach if you if it's too much, too much walking. So right now to the right of us is actually Palazina. This is the back set of stairs. This is not the same stairs that we came down right. to the beach. This is a different set of stairs. Lots of stairs. <laughs> um, this is one of the shortcuts we use as well. I know a lot of people have their own little shortcuts and paths through here. Um, but this is ours. <laughs> or one of ours. <laughs> <laughs> not, not only ours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we claimed it. And, sorry, go ahead, I'm just I'm going sorry. up back to uh, where the parking lot slash lobby slash gift shop is area, right? Yes, we're actually going to cut in to, um, we're going to come down this, the other set of stairs. Here's a nice little place to kind of hang out and relax, have a cup of tea. So that building in front of us is actually uh, the, balloon the balloon bar. bar. And so these stairs right here lead back up to the balloon bar and back up to that first pool. Oh, oh and there you are. Again. And now we're actually going to walk. This is a, another back way down. We're going to walk back to where our room was mm -hmm. in D block. Um, and it'll kind of tie this whole thing together. Right. So... Um, if you need to watch this video a couple times to get your bearings, we get it. And again, <laughs> if you need to shut us up, we get it. But if you have any questions, by all means, email us. We'll have a link below. You can get to us through YouTube, or you can find us through Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. You can find us through Halos and Heathens. You can find us uh, pretty much freaking everywhere. Yeah, I think we're just showing how uh, there's like a little way to cut through this uh, mid part and uh, go from like your room up to the uh, balloon bar slash lobby in a quicker manner than going the yeah. front way. And I slowed it down just simply because uh, I just love the look of this. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> this is something I hope they don't change in the remodel. <laughs> right. And yeah. so now we're going to come out to that very famous view of San Susi. Our room D7 is in this alcove to the, not in the alcove, but the door is in the alcove there yeah, to, to the, the left. left. Yeah. And here we are. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we have walkthroughs of all the resorts and some rooms. And if you want to check them out, we'd appreciate it. Enjoy your vacation. And uh, please reach out if you have any questions. And cheers. Bye. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you like the video video would be great if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps us out and if you subscribe to the channel we've been doing drinking video all, video videos all day so we just thought this would be a good time to make an ending video cheers <laughs>